Hey guys, I'm Taryn Ryder. Welcome back to Celeb Buzz, and I have a very special guest with me here today who's going to talk about a scene she's dying to see. Hi everyone, I'm Kara Warner with MTV News. All right, Kara, what are you looking forward to in The Hunger Games the most? Well, it's, it's hard to narrow it down to one. Agreed. Uh, one little element, but uh, I'm really excited about kind of the melee scene. It's the first, kind of the first glimpse we're going to get at the death and destruction in the games. Right, I mean, I, we see a little clip. I know that they're probably going to probably try and keep that a secret, everything that's going on in the arena, but right away when you see Jennifer Lawrence looking at Josh, my heart drops a little bit. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, I'm interested because the little glimpse we see, we see Jennifer Lawrence just book it and just start running. But in the book, she talks about um, Katniss is saying how she hesitates and she doesn't go right towards the cornucopia. So what do you think that's about? That's a good question. Yeah, I'm wondering because we know that she has to maybe at least try to pick up a certain item from the cornucopia and whatever is thwarted with that. We don't know. But I, I think that she's going to have to get it somehow. She needs some sort of... She needs something. It's part of the plot that we know. So I, I assume that there's going to be some sort of scuffle. She has to have some sort of interaction with the other players right. before. Refresh my memory, what item is it that she gets right away? There's a little scuffle, well, at least in the Pack books. Pack of some yeah, sort? Yeah, there's a little scuffle with another another uh, player with the blood spatter thing over a backpack. Right. And there's a backpack with a couple items in it that we figure out later, but... What do you think about PETA? Do you think we're going to see Josh team up right away with the careers in Kato, or is, do you think it's just going to be all about Katniss? Yeah, that's, that's another really good question because in the books we have Katniss doing so much of the narration right. that they're going to have to show us more of the other players, especially PETA. So I'm curious about what we're going to see the other tributes doing because, again, in the book it's all in Katniss's head, but we don't know where Rue goes. We don't know what Kato and Clove and everyone's doing. Yeah. So I wonder if they're going to keep it from Katniss's point of view or if it's just going to be sort of a wide shot and we're going to see everyone skedaddle, yeah. for lack of a better word. <laughs> no, that's it. I mean, it's going to be really interesting. The other angle is, you know, the, the games are broadcast to all the districts, so mm -hmm. the way they might be able to get around the violence, again, is showing shots of the other districts reacting that's to what true. they're seeing on the game. So we might be able Prim. to get around that, maybe, yeah. Everyone, I know. How many people die right away? I think it's 11. 11. I think we lose 11 and we're left with 13. Okay, so prediction. We know that someone dies right around her and she gets blood on her and everything. Visually, what do you think they're gonna what, what do you think they're gonna do? I know, like we said, like it's hard without going full R rating. That it's gonna have to be quick cuts. I think we're gonna have a lot of quick cuts and maybe the blood splatter. We'll get blood splatter, <laughs> we'll get that sound effect, that terrible sound effect. Yes. Of people getting hit with maces and arrows going through chests. So I just hope they go as gory as they can because yeah. you have to feel you have to feel the death of those kids. I mean, these are kids that are dying for... You know, for what? Yeah, exactly, for what? We don't... We'll see how they build that up to mm -hmm. kind of what they're actually dying for versus just reminding them of... Yeah. ...to obey the capital and whatnot. They just want a good show. That's all they want. You know how to hunt. Show them how good you are. Any predictions visually of what you think the cornucopia is going to look like? That is it's really fun to think about. Well, it's also interesting, too, when the, the, the first teasers and then the trailer, mm -hmm. I pictured the world very kind of gray and dismal and brown. Yeah. And I was surprised. I mean, we can even see in the photo here the green. Mm -hmm. I was really surprised by the green and the color in the forest. So I think, you know, if it's, a, if it's something capital made, that it's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. So it's going to be gold and shiny and sparkly and just... Perfect. Maybe sort of looks from another time or a little modern. Right. But who knows? Kara, thank you so much for stopping by. My pleasure. Tell our viewers now where they can find you. You can find me at mtvnews.com and at Kara Warner on Twitter. Thank you, Kara. And come back tomorrow for more of our 100 Days of Hunger Games celebration.